Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Well, I'm just out for a quick little hike today, just kind of stretching my legs, getting out of the garage. And I thought I'd show you something here today. And this is the Bushcraft Necklace from Wazoo Survival Gear. It's a little fire starter. And I'm going to show you, give you a close up here real quick. But uh, to tell you a little bit about the company, uh, they are right here in the USA. And they specialize in like micro survival kits. Uh, they have a lot of uh, bracelets and key fobs and things of that sort uh, that they put micro survival kits in. So uh, they have a lot of really great products, and I'm um, hoping to get uh, a few more to show you guys. But uh, for right now, we're going to look at this Bushcraft Fire Starting Necklace. I thought I would start off by showing you what all comes uh, in the package when you order one of these. And, uh, of course, you have the actual necklace itself, and it does come with this little uh, tag on it that shows you how to use it and uh, some jute twine, so you already got some tinder with you uh, right off the bat. And then you got... Uh, their warranty card, rewards, things like that, their business card, survival kits in disguise, that's, that's pretty cool, and then a little sticker. So how this thing works is, uh, here's your ferro rod, there's your striker. You want to pull that uh, ferro rod to the other end so you have plenty of length to... Uh, uh, use your striker and then you want to I guess maybe not clear to the end you want to kind of fold your necklace over and hold on to it like that that way you're getting as much ferro rod uh, surface as possible to strike and uh, your fingers aren't getting in the way so now I'm going to show you this striker a little closer uh, it has these two edges that's what I have found work the best to strike this with uh, holding on to it the way that I showed so, it actually doesn't do too bad at all. Let's see if I can keep that in frame. So, it comes with a piece of jute twine. Let's try that out first. I know jute twine is a really great flash tinder. And if you had uh, some chapstick or anything like that, in fact, this feels like it might be waxed jute twine. So, that would be really fantastic. Get this unwound. Wax, that's the reason I think it's waxed is because it's not uh, not just coming right apart real easy like most jute twine does. I'm not actually going to even use the whole piece of jute twine. This is, it does feel like waxed jute twine. So I'm not going to use the whole thing because if you were actually in a survival situation and relying on this uh, uh, fire starting necklace, uh, you'd want to conserve your material. So I'm going to save those and uh, just show you what one strand of it will do. And get a better hold on this. Oop, I had a... There we go. Another little thing I want to show you here real quick is uh, it does have a slide on it. So it, it doesn't move real easy, but uh, if you can... Get a hold of one side here and pull on it and uh, you can stretch it out or shrink it down, whichever you need to do. Now I like to be prepared in all situations, so I carry a key fob with some tinder in it as well. And I just have a couple of pieces of uh, tinder quick in here. I'm going to have to get it out with my knife. So we'll try one of those. All right, let's give her that. Give this one a shot. It's 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 kind of hard to control, honestly. But I mean, doing it this way, it, it actually it, it doesn't work too bad. But uh, you just you just have to get a hold of it just right. So something I want to show you guys here real quick. Uh, I missed a couple of times with the striker, and uh, kind of hit the leather. Uh, you see a couple spots there, but it's holding up good, and uh, I'm going to keep going with it. You guys know I almost never do a fire starting video without using some fatwood. 
So let's just get a few shavings and uh, I'll see how that does. All right, let's try some fatwood shavings. Well, I got fatwood shavings and uh, some fluff uh, Maya dust here. So let's give that a try. Keep moving my bundle. I've tried to do the uh, pole method. It's just not working out very well for me. Well, we got a little flame. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to become part of my EDC, even though it's not really easy to use. Uh, if you do carry, you know, like on the fatwood anyway, but if you carry uh, any source of tinder with you, even if you uh, just had a little bit of jute twine, uh, I used to carry a, uh, a tinder fob. It was uh, basically just uh, braided jute twine that uh, I could use for uh, tinder. Uh, that's what I used to carry, and now I started carrying the tinder quicks. But uh, either way, uh, they're good tinder to uh, help you get a fire going and this struck it uh, got the got those lit up really well uh, the fat, fat wood was a little more troublesome but uh, you know I eventually got it so uh, I don't think if you were in a, uh, a bad situation like uh, if you were really cold or uh, or uh, really wet anything anything like that uh, you know if your dexterity was not working very well um, I, you know I, I wouldn't rely on this in a for a true survival situation but uh, those situations happen when you least expect them so having something like this with you just in case uh, you know it's it's a redundancy at the least uh, the winners so. will be chosen right along with my 5,000 subscriber giveaway uh, when I announce those winners so I'll just do that all at the same time guys so uh, like I said I have one extra here with me that I'll send out and then uh, Wazoo Survival Gear they will uh, uh, give me a coupon code to give to somebody else so they can just check out on Amazon and have it shipped directly to them. So, Well that's it for today guys. I thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out all those links in the description box below. Uh, go find this on Amazon and uh, you know they have Facebook page, they have social media and website and all that good stuff so uh, go check them out. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.